Hey everyone, so today we are in Puebla, Puebla, and just like Zacatecas, Zacatecas, Colima, Colima, Guadalajara, Jalisco, wait, no, but we are in Puebla, Puebla today, the capital of the state of Puebla, and we're in this neighborhood just outside the center, and it's known for its artwork. It used to be known as a really dangerous neighborhood, but today it's known for all the murals that it has, so we're gonna, that's what we're going to start out doing today. We're going to check out some of the murals. Let's go. So I got into Puebla a couple nights ago. This is my third day here in Puebla. And I've been surprised actually by a couple things here in Puebla. And those two are that the size of Puebla, the city, I thought it was around a million people. I don't know where I got that number from, but turns out it has a population of three and a half million. And it's actually the fourth largest metropolitan area in Mexico. So Mexico City obviously is gonna be the first largest metropolitan area. Then behind that is Guadalajara. I'm not sure what the third is maybe Monterrey or maybe somebody watching the video knows and you can leave it in the comments but the fourth largest metropolitan area it's going run into me no problem <laughs> but the fourth largest metropolitan area in Mexico is Puebla so that was kind of surprising and I've, the second thing I was surprised about is how developed it is I'm walking around the center here and it's kind of three things how pretty the center is it was kind of like a third thing and the center is very nice, very pretty, really beautiful center. I've just been surprised by how pretty it is here. And you can tell it's very old. Um, so it kind of developed that way, cared for in, a, in that way. But also the amount of skyscrapers and just the development of the city in general, very nice and large highways. I'm looking forward to Mexico City and kind of seeing how things are there in terms of the, the big highways. I've seen the big highways. This is, this is what you get excited for. Uh, traveling from city to city. I want to see these big highways.
Okay, so I came down to this street, which is in the center, and it's just filled with all these different sweet stores. And it goes on for about the next three or four blocks. It has all these different sweet stores. And so this is actually the danger in Mexico. This is the dangerous part of Mexico right here. Buying too many sweets. And so I mentioned in one of my videos in Zacatecas, I believe it was, that you just want to eat one or two of these. You don't want to eat too many. Because if you eat too many, then you'll find out kind of what the dangers can run like, pun intended, in Mexico. But what we're going to do, I'm going to find a store here and I'm going to go in and get some sweets and for later this evening. Okay. Those look good. Let's take a look around before I buy anything first. Oh, see, this is what I bought in Zacatecas, and I ate like half the plate in one night. Those are really good, though. Maybe I could get like a smaller plate of those. That would probably be a wiser choice. It is really pretty. They have all these different gift baskets you can get for people back home. Or you could just buy it for yourself and sit on the couch and watch Colibri travel. What a better evening could there be? Okay, what I think I'll do is I, I really like those sweets in that I got in Zacatecas, which are the ones that I saw back over there. Uh, but I, let's see what sizes they have. Yeah, I think it's like a dulce de leche. I'll just get the smaller plate here. Nice size. Me das uno de estos, los platos pequeños. Uno? Sí. Ah, ok. Sí. ¿Y qué son? ¿Cómo se llama? Un jamoncillo de leche, nuez y piñón. ¿De qué de leche, perdón? Leche con nuez y piñón. Leche con, con nuez. Ajá. Entonces esto se llama leche. Un jamoncillo. Sería jamoncillo de leche. Jamoncillo de leche. Ok. ¿Cuánto es? 20. ¿Bolsa o así? Así está bien. Jamoncillo de leche. A little ham of milk, perhaps, would be the translation, maybe. <laughs> little ham of milk and nuts. Very delicious. Muchas gracias. Okay, now I got my danger for Mexico. Let's keep going on in the center. Okay, so thank you Daniel and Ulysses both for making one-time contributions via my page on Square. If you'd like to make a Square donation, I'll put the link in the comments below. So thank you so much to Daniel and Ulysses. I really appreciate it. You guys are super awesome. Thank you so much. Wow, wow, wee, wow. That is a charge. Very nice. All right, so we're at the Cathedral in Puebla. So let's go inside and take a look.
desaparecieron sin saber dónde están. ¿Sí? Estamos en la búsqueda de encontrarlos, pero no tenemos el apoyo del gobierno. ¿Sí? De la Fiscalía de Puebla no hace nada con nuestros asuntos, nuestras carpetas. ¿Cuándo desapareció tu hijo? Mi hijo desapareció el 21 de septiembre del 19. Tiene año. Dos años. No, un año seis Algunas. meses. ¿Sí? No tenemos ningún, nada del gobierno que nos diga, ¿sabes qué? Ya la encontramos, estamos checando, no hay nada. No sabemos nada. ¿sí? El gobierno no hace nada para localizarlos. Es por eso que se están recabando las firmas. Y las familias tienen que buscar, tienen que hacer Tenemos que hacer la gran parte, parte del, del trabajo, trabajo para poder localizarlos. Por lo menos para presionar al gobierno que nos apoye en la búsqueda. Es el colectivo de la voz de desaparecidos de Puebla. Sí. Son los que más Son nos los están bien. apoyando sí, están para ayudando. presionar al gobierno, para salir a buscar a las colonias, en todas partes para localizarlos. ¿Cómo se llama? Carlos Morales Carrera. ¿Y todas estas personas están desaparecidas? Son algunas de las que están desaparecidas. Nos falta mucha gente todavía. Muchas gracias por contar tu historia. Sí, no, mucha suerte. Gracias. Okay, so back at the Airbnb. And here it is, and there's Binks. Oh, Binky's. You can tell, tell it was a theatrical entrance because Binks is awake. I came in and set stuff down before. So I actually love this Airbnb. It's so much more my style than the previous place in Coatza. It was lovely, nice, huge there. It was really good, but uh, I wasn't feeling the style there, but here I, I really like the style, and you can see all my dirty clothes. Oh my goodness. I need to do my laundry. So really simple. I don't know what I'm paying. It's got to be around $35 a night. I usually don't. I should, that's what I usually try to stick to. Um, it's all been remodeled. I mean, she didn't tell me that, but you can kind of tell just by how everything is here that it's all been remodeled pretty recently. I really like these floors. Really comfortable. And then out here... I got a little rooftop terrace and Binks can come out and he can be one of the roof dogs. See, we're both being enculturated, Binks. And Binks, he says my suck. Binks, we're both becoming Mexican. Binks is a Mexican dog now. He's a rooftop dog and you can look down and bark at all the other dogs. And there is Puebla. Okay, so my Airbnb host, Rosy, said she had some tortillas for me that I was going to try. So I'm going to turn the camera around and that's going to be it. Really appreciate you watching the video. I really appreciate you leaving a like and a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. I really uh, like to hear where everybody's watching from. We had some people from Azerbaijan once. I know uh, somebody in New Zealand is watching. Uh, the Europe, North America, Mexico, all over the world. So let me know where you're watching from in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'm off to Mexico City pretty soon. I'll be here in Puebla for a few more nights. So I'll see you guys really soon. Bye-bye.